What is going on guys and girls, it is Preston here today and welcome to my second Q&A. Q&A, I wanna go ahead and just say one thing and that is to go ahead and go down below in the description and follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter and Facebook because I don't ever market my other social media as much as I probably should. So be sure to go do that right now. And while you're at it, you might as well smack the like button and leave a comment down below, okay? Tell me what your uh, favorite PR is on your favorite compound lift. We can have a fun conversation down there. So yeah, going to the actual Q&A, let's do it. So today I'm gonna to be answering your guys' questions that you guys have uh, sent me on Instagram via my story. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here and let's go ahead and begin with the first question. In regards to giving you a diet, I do offer online coaching privately. I don't advertise it anymore because I wasn't getting enough traffic. Now the first question we have here is from Bakshtau underscore, period underscore. I'm not trying to say your name, man. I probably butchered the crap out of that, but he asked me, give me a good diet, please. I'm skinny and I want to bulk and I hit the gym. Okay, so a few things here. In regards to giving you a diet, I do offer online coaching privately. I don't advertise it anymore because I wasn't getting enough traffic. So if you have my Instagram, obviously, because you because you asked me this question, so go ahead and send me a private DM and we can start talking about possibly getting you on a plan or something. Uh, but right now, I'm not gonna have enough time to go over a good diet in regards to how to bulk. The next question I'm just gonna say comes from John, that way I don't butcher his name. I'm trying to hit 4,000 calories a day on healthy foods. Have you any advice? Now, in regards to hitting 4,000 calories on healthy foods, it's not going to be actually as hard as it seems. All right, so the next question comes from John. I'm just going to say John, and he basically asked me how to hit 4,000 calories um, from healthy foods uh, daily. And so my advice is you're going to have to make sure that you're eating plenty of fat. Now, we, we can all eat plenty of carbs. We can all eat plenty of protein, but those two are not going to be what are going to get you to that 4,000 calorie mark. And my advice is every meal, eat at least 100 grams of carbs per meal. Now, for me personally, when I was bulking, like hardcore, I was eating rice every single meal, if not some pasta, maybe a sandwich here or there, but primarily rice and pasta. And the only other two meals that I didn't have rice or pasta with was breakfast and my last meal because I, I, I used to eat breakfast twice a day. So I, I'd eat, um, you know, like five or six whole eggs cooked in butter, three hash browns cooked in butter or olive oil, four pieces of toast with butter, and then like three pieces of turkey bacon. I'd eat that twice a day. And then the four or three meals in between those two meals were either uh, steak and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and pasta, steak and pasta, like you guys can see the, you know, see the pattern there is that it's a lot cleaner in the middle and then a little bit more intense on the beginning and end of my day. That just worked for me. But the key thing is that those two meals that I have in the beginning and the end of the day are extremely high in fat, but they are healthier fats than say going and, you know, grabbing a Big Mac or uh, a milkshake or going to Taco Bell. It's a lot healthier to eat high amounts of fat when you're in control and I know, okay, I'm getting saturated fat from this butter or maybe I use olive oil and now I'm getting monounsaturated. Like I know what fats I'm getting and you know, saturated fat gets a bad rap. A lot of science is coming out now saying it's not as bad as it used to be. So, you know, I recommend that. I re recommend primarily focusing on eating, you know, carbs at 100 grams per meal and then protein at 50 per meal if you can. It depends on how much you weigh. I weigh, you know, around 200, a little bit over. So, you know, for me, eating five meals a day at 50, that's 250 grams of protein. That for me, I like that. That fills me up, but I could drop that down to like 40 grams of protein and that would be really good also. So um, yeah, you know, 40, 50 grams of protein, depending on how much you weigh, calculate how much protein you need on every meal. But in regards to carbs, 100%, 100 grams of carbs per meal, and then your fat, just don't be afraid to throw butter on your rice or olive oil or throw some nuts in here and there like almonds or cashews. Uh, really, really embrace eating more fat because as bodybuilders, we really shy away from it and it's like the devil. So don't be afraid to do that and that will help you get in more calories, AKA hitting your 4,000 calorie mark on healthy foods daily. Okay, next question comes from Luis Juan. You are mega perfect. Thank you. Next is from Fitness 1996. Uh, I, I, I just don't want to, I don't want to butcher your name, so I'm gonna call you Fitness 1996. Uh, is doing the pull down challenge every day good to bulk up? Now I'm not quite sure what the pull down challenge is. I believe it's an exercise, so I'm thinking you mean a lat pull down or some kind of movement. Um, in regards to pull down challenge every day, if you are 
hitting the same exercise every single day. That kind of sounds like the Bulgarian squat split to me, which is where they squat every single day. So in regards to this, you, it sounds like you're telling me that you're basically doing pull downs for your back every single day to bulk up. Now, if that's your goal is to grow your back, um, yeah, I mean, you can train a muscle every single day. It has to be extremely low volume and extremely low intensity. It's very similar to the Bulgarian squat split where these guys were squatting every single day and they had profound effects, but it was very taxing on the CNS. It really ruins a traditional split in regards to push pull legs or, you know, chest and back or, you know, shoulders, triceps, chest. Like it, it, it throws off a whole entire week split because legs are happening every single day. So there's no um, progression like this. It's more so just kind of like all the way across and that bar just kind of goes like this eventually it's like a staircase what will happen is you'll stop squatting and then you'll rest and you'll be stronger and then you'll go 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 and then you'll stop and you'll go instead of just you know slowly adding weight and climbing so in regards to that yeah it could be uh very good for you if you do it the right way but i recommend just you know not doing something every single day I recommend you know doing it twice a week on like your back day and calling it good there. But if you're eating a surplus and you're providing your body a stimulus in the form of resistance training, such as a lat pull down, then yes, in theory you should be good to bulk up and grow from that. Next question is from Danny. Do a pec bounce? Haha. <laughs> well, I'm wearing a black shirt, or I would, but I appreciate your humor. Next question here is from Nick, and it says, "When is the next Omegle video?" Now, I get asked this question like if not daily, and it's, you know, it's hard to not say it gets a little bit annoying. I'm not towards you, Nick, but just towards like, always hearing it repeatedly. And the answer is that you guys are not going to be seeing an Omegle video from me anytime soon, if not ever again, unless the trend comes back. That is why I stopped doing it, because my first few videos got millions of views, and then I watched as the trend decided to die out on its own, and I watched going from a million to a couple hundred thousand down to a couple thousand and then you know barely even hitting 10k views within a few month period. I mean my other video hit 10k but I think it took close to a year so it's not a very popular thing anymore so I will not be doing that um, anytime soon as I said if not ever again unless the trend comes back. All right, the next question comes from Lift Heavy, and it says, thinking about bodybuilding competition, you'd be a good classic physique competitor. My man, thank you so much for saying that. Uh, I really do enjoy classic physique as a division. I think it is an absolute artful division. I think it's beautiful, and so, yeah, I would love to do a competition sometime soon. I've actually been talking to my girlfriend about it, talking to my parents about it, because I put on so much size, especially in, in, in like the leg department, which is where a lot of guys say you need to be very, very strong in to go into classic physique, if not just bodybuilding as a whole, you cannot be lacking in your legs. I think I might actually do one very soon. Um, you know, if not next year, maybe 2021, it might be a really fun thing for me to do, you know, and that will have been, I think about six to seven years of training for me when that time hits. So yeah, it's definitely in my thoughts, not anytime soon, but I appreciate the kind words and saying that I'd be a, a good competitor. Thank you, man. Alrighty, so another question here is from Mickip or Mickey, and we've got, when should I stop bulking? Honestly, it depends on your age. I think that everybody should bulk from the time they start training until their early 20s. That means that if you started training when you're 14, you are going to be training for about eight years until I think that you should stop bulking. And now that's not to say you shouldn't do mini cuts here and there to control the fat gain if you start to spill over, but I do think that you should bulk for as long as you can in your teen years especially, but also in the first few years of training because that's when you have such fast, amazing gains. And when you pair that with your teens, it's like natural steroids, guys. Like you grow insane. And I mean, from my own personal experience, I mean, I never thought that I'd ever get stretch marks, but I have them because I grew so freaking fast, right? So uh, I think that you should bulk for as long as you can until, you know, you really built a solid foundation. And then even then, I don't think that you should do a crazy competition cut unless you want to compete. I think that you should keep it, you know, keep it steady and, uh, you know, don't overdo it and go super crazy in regards to, you know, cutting and bulking, cutting and bulking, cutting and bulking. No, just bulk all the way for as long as you can, especially if you're in your teens, so your early 20s. And then, you know, around that 23, 24 mark when your testosterone starts to kind of mellow out 
and sadly eventually go down as you go up to your 30s, I think that that's when you should start maybe thinking about cutting, if not just continuing the bulk because bulking is really healthy. Like your body likes to be in a surplus. You feel good for a reason when you're bulking, unless you're dirty bulking, of course. But that's why guys say like, oh, I can't wait to stop dieting. That way I, I can feel normal again. The body is healthier when you are fueling that metabolism and giving it the calories and nutrients that it needs. So that is my thoughts on when you should stop bulking. All right, so now we are reaching our last three questions here. Uh, one is from, once again, my main man, Fitness1996. And he says, if you amount of calories to have during your bulk. Now this is extremely, extremely dependent on who you are as a person and it will vary among everyone. So for me, the right amount of calories for me is right around 3,500 to 4,000 calories daily for me to continue bulking. Now that's if I want to have a decent amount of strength, a decent amount of energy, like if I want to be Feeling like the way I am right now, feeling really good. I've got a good amount of fat off my body. You can see my six pack for Foley. I've got forearm veins nice. I've got veins across my shoulders, almost even veins on my legs, which is very hard to obtain. Uh, that is very dependent on where you hold your body fat. For me, I hold a lot of it just on my midsection and on my lower back. So right now I'm eating about 3,500 to 4,000 calories, probably more, to thir more around the 3,500 mark to be honest with you. So um, yeah, and I'm feeling really well and my strength is still going up. I'm actually losing body fat, but staying at the same weight, which to me lets me know that I was eating and spilling over this last, uh, well, this last summer and you know, last winter, I, I was spilling over, which is why I'm losing weight and still getting stronger. Had I not spilt over, I would probably at the same body fat I'm at right now, if not less, but still gaining strength and, and you know like I am now so um, yeah all depends there's calculators online normally you want to go ahead and find your maintenance calories so say you're maintenance 3,000 right you need to eat 3,000 calories a day to just maintain your body weight generally speaking you want to go above about 500 and that will give you a good idea on if you know 500 calories over your maintenance is too much or not so 100 over and if you know 3,500 is too much for you and you're gaining too much fat then drop down to 350 and 350 is too much then go down to 250 and then you'll find you know where you need to be at in regards to your calorie surplus and that'll let you know how many calories you need to still lean bulk uh, and put on size because you want to lean bulk you don't want a dirty bulk unless you just want to have fun getting fat okay do that but I bodybuilders we want to be the biggest and leanest that is the goal questions actually come from the same person and they asked me is your clothing line out? No, it's not. Currently, I do not have a clothing line at all. I am just trying to market myself. And then their other question is, you still doing modeling? Currently, I put modeling and acting on a hold right now. Uh, my current day job is actually closing. Our owners are just tired of being in the grocery industry and they're shutting down my store and every single store associated with us. So I'm losing my job in about two weeks, but I am going ahead and becoming a personal trainer over at Crunch Fitness by my house. So right now I'm more focused on just getting my day job, getting my career back up and running. And yeah, that's gonna be really good for me, really good for my channel. But that does mean that modeling and acting has been put on the side. Right there was my Q&A for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was a very fun time as always. Answering your guys' questions, getting to interact with you all because I really do enjoy doing these. It's a lot easier to just sit down, talk to the camera, and answer questions than it is to you know go to the gym and try and PR on deadlift squat bench. It's a lot, it's very taxing when you're trying to perform for the camera and also for your own numbers. So yeah, I had a really great time doing this. Uh, as always, please do like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go down below, check out my social medias. Be sure to ask me questions. Even when I'm not doing a Q&A, like I always respond to DMs, always. And I always do my best to, re to reply to comments, Snapchats, like that's why I really promote my Snapchat so much and like promote all my social medias. But per you know, like primarily my Snapchat because I like to have that personal connection. I like to only talk to you guys one-on-one, -on -one, you know, not on a story, not on a, you know, like a public post. I like to, privately message you guys and really get to know you all because you guys are here giving me guys this time and, and you know and, and like your effort so thank you guys so much once again be sure to go down below to media and ask me questions whenever you would like and as always ask me questions whenever I am doing one of these Q&A's thanks again and I will see you guys in the next video see ya